Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Theodore here and today we're going to be talking about a question that a lot of you guys always ask me is what camera do you use or what's that tripod or what's the lens and just general questions like that. So I figured I should make a video talking about all my camera gears and what I use and softwares I use and stuff like that. So, alrighty, let go. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my main camera. Uh, my main camera is just a Canon M6. Normally people use this camera to vlog, but I I use it to vlog and also record videos like this. And the reason why I use or bought the M6 is because for one, it was on sale. I think I think it was on sale on the Canon website and um, also I really like the flip up camera. Um, there's also the Canon M6 Mark II that flips it to the side so that you can put the microphone on the top and you know like I just didn't really like how the camera was flipped on the side. So I bought the older model and actually the older model has been working really well for me. Sorry Winnie's here. And I just bought a little rig to extend the little tripod mount onto the side so that I could actually hang my microphone and then I can also flip my screen up. Originally I was gonna hook up like a external screen, external screen, but I didn't do that because it got really heavy and whenever I record it's just me, one person carrying a whole bunch of gear. So I just decided not to do that. And the lens that I have on this camera is the EFM 11 to 22 millimeter wide angle lens and a lot of youtubers use this lens and that's because you can capture so much like you don't have to put the camera really far away but you can capture so much in the background and you can just capture everything that you get everything that you want although it doesn't have that bokeh effect in the background and that's because it's an f4 to a 5.6 so there's not much bokeh so everything is in focus but i mean eventually when i could afford it i want to upgrade to a Canon R, which is another mirrorless camera that is full frame and I could play with a lot more different lenses. And the microphone that I'm currently using is the Video Go. It's like the smaller um, microphone and it's worked for me just fine. It's not heavy, it's pretty compact. Next camera that I want to talk about is my Canon G7X Mark II. They did come out with a Mark III and that's nice and all but i read a lot of reviews saying how a lot of the upgrades weren't that great and stuff like that so i i still have my mark ii and so far it's worked for me just fine and you're like why does your canon g7x mark ii look so weird well that is because i put a wide angle lens on it and now you can't do that with um the g7x mark ii you have to buy like this fancy little thing on top of it and you snap it on i've had it for quite a while and I used to have it just because I would record a lot of food shots and stuff like that so I just wanted like a little lens to protect it wait a minute is that the right one? Oh no it's not even the right one but I used to have like I have another lens to put onto this so no dirt will ever get into it but now I have this wide angle lens on top and so when you guys watch my vlogs on my vlog channel on Eat Theodore you guys will see that there's like the corners are kind of rounded more and that's because it's a wide angle lens and people were asking me like how do you I like what lens is it that you're using on your G7X Mark II and this is the lens it's just a really cheap Vivitar wide angle lens that I got on Amazon and everything that I'm talking about today will be in down in the description box below but in order for this to work you have to have this little ring and this ring and so that you can snap it on because the Canon G7X Mark II or any of the Canon G7X line does not have like an extra wide angle lens that you can buy from like Canon or anything. I just bought this one off of Amazon for really cheap. So this is my Canon G7X Mark II. I've had this for I want to say three years now and it's worked for me just fine. I bought it refurbished on the Canon website. I was quite hesitant buying it refurbished, but um, I don't regret it. It's worked really well for me and I bought it for a little bit cheaper. I wouldn't say extra, like extraordinarily cheaper, but it was much cheaper than um, the full price. And it's worked for me. 
it's worked so well for me and it's been everywhere with me it's been to like all my trips to Oregon California New York Shanghai blah 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 all those places that you could go to before the pandemic and now I can't go to because I would be forced to go to quarantine next camera that I've got the DJI Osmo pocket um, I got this last year on Thanksgiving pretty neat camera turns on like this and it has a gimbal it itself is a gimbal whatever you do it just focuses and I don't know it stabilizes every shot and I really like it it's almost exactly like my Canon G7X Mark II um, without the wide angle lens that is but this camera shoots really nicely it shoots in 4k shoots in 1080p I recommend using just 1080p because 4k takes up a lot of memory I mean like for a 64 gigabyte micro SD card you could probably shoot like 20 minutes and then you're done but if you shoot it on 1080p you can shoot it for hours what's nice about this camera is that you can literally shoot on it for hours if you have like an external battery like one of those charging banks um, you just have to hook it up onto the USB-C on the bottom and you can charge it for hours I have like a 20,000 milliamp um, external battery that I could charge to anything I can't charge my Canon but I can charge this and this guy will shoot for hours which is really nice when you're trying to get b-rolls and I mean sometimes for b-rolls I shoot random things for like one minute at a time because I want to do a little time lapse and I mean this guy can do time lapse too which is really neat yeah really nice camera I really like it just because of how compact it is again like my whole camera and my whole camera gear system is based on compactness I am again one person I can't carry around like three different lenses or a huge camera full frame camera anything so what I like is making everything um, compact and small so that I as a person one person can carry it all what's really neat about this camera is you can connect your phone to it and basically what it is your phone is like an external screen to the DJI so you can see what you're recording on this phone from the DJI and it makes it really nice because the screen is tiny so um, if my phone was an external screen it'll be a lot bigger it's not that big and it's pretty light too and the picture quality from this lens is amazing if you're worried that this is only for iOS or iPhone you don't have to worry about that because it also comes in the USB-C type of dongle thing and you can connect it to your Samsung's or any camera that uses or any phone that has a USB-C type of input like this tripod I get asked so many times a day I swear to God people just ask me what kind of tripod is that what kind of tripod is that I always link my tripods down below the description box but I guess nobody reads it but my tripod is the Manfrotto pixie I've got two of these I got a white one and I got a black one and the black one isn't actually mine it's my brother-in-law's if you want it back please let me know otherwise I'm gonna keep it I mean you visited last time and you didn't even ask for it and the reason why I like this tripod so much is because it's really sturdy this, I don't know what material it is but when you hit on it it's like when you sounds like marbles okay and I know it's not made of marbles but it definitely feels like it and it's just sturdy and whenever I connect my camera onto it I know it won't fall and I know whatever angle that I have this camera on say like this it won't tilt down it nothing will happen to it it'll just keep it there and I know there's like other off-brand type of tripods that look similar to this I haven't used those personally but I highly recommend the Manfrotto version just because it's so sturdy I've had this tripod for 
ever since I bought this camera, so three years as well. And I mean, the only thing that's happened to it is it's gotten dirtier. And maybe not get the white version because it clearly got dirty within like a week of using it. But I highly recommend this tripod anyways. And I mean, white tripods don't really exist that much on the market. So um, maybe you want this one to like stand out a little bit more. I don't know, but there's always a black option for you too. It kind of looks like this whenever I'm vlogging. And then, you know, I can mount this on a rock. So say sometimes if I can't bring this tripod around, I bring around this guy because this guy's a lot more compact and I can put put it in my bag and I wouldn't even realize it's in my bag because it's so light and compact. Although it's not that sturdy though, I must admit Manfrotto has some skills making really sturdy tripods because this one is nothing compared to it. Like sometimes if I put my M6 on here, it'll tilt over. Um, or even like my Canon G7X Mark II sometimes, if I put it on this, it'll tilt over. But this is overall good for my phone or just like the DJI Osmo Pocket. So now we're gonna go into mobile phone. So this is just, uh, what is it? This is the iPhone XS Max. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to say. If you have braces and whenever you're trying to say the X's and the S's, they just sound the same and I have a lisp whenever I say any of this stuff. So I apologize, it's X S Max. That's the model of my phone. I really like this phone, although I must admit being a person who creates content, uh, I really need to upgrade my memory. This is only 64 gigabytes. I was like, oh yeah, I could totally make 64 gigabyte work. It has not worked too well. I just find myself in a lot of situations um, my camera wouldn't record anymore because it's like your iPhone is out of memory and then I have to go back into my camera and deleting pictures and stuff like that. I mean, it's not too much of a hassle, but when you're in the moment and you want that that video footage and you don't have the camera or the memory to support it, it's kind of frustrating. And what I like to do because the, the audio quality of, of this camera is not always the best, I have a little lavalier microphone obviously take your hair out of the way so that your hair doesn't rub onto the microphone because this is extremely sensitive here i'll try it for you guys hello hello hi 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 oh i probably hear that hello hi welcome back it's theodore here oh, blah, 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 blah. hi guys welcome back it's theodore i have dry skin on my forehead i know Hi, 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 hi. As far as lens go, I like to hook up these um, fish eye lenses or wide angle lenses onto my phone so that whenever I'm recording, um, you guys can see everything. So this is with the fish eye lens and this is without. It makes a huge difference whenever you want to record and get like the whole picture. It's compact and I don't have to carry around like a huge camera a lot of the times because I have this one and I really like it. Although the fish eye, how it distorts the picture is kind of annoying. Occasionally when I record and I want the full picture, it kind of looks fun. So, okay, next is my editing. What I like to use is my iPad whenever I like to draw graphics and stuff. And this is pretty recent, I got it well, my first iPad Pro was last year. I, since then, I've given it to my niece. Uh, she really liked it, so I gave it to her. And so I have this new iPad Pro. This is the 2020 version, I believe. It has, it's the version with the, the two lens, or the two whatever it is here. Not much of a difference for me, because I really never, ever use the camera on the iPad ever. It's huge, like what would I record with it? And then I also have the second generation Apple Pen, the one that's magnetic. And I recommend buying a case that has like a little housing for the Apple Pen because I did buy it with no housing before and this Apple Pen just falls off all the time. Like 99% of the time I always lose the Apple Pen. The app that I use to create my graphics is just Procreate, just the normal Procreate that everybody 
uses. There's a function on here that you can animate and stuff like that, which is really nice. I'm still learning to use it. Like, it's not hard, but it's actually kind of difficult. It's like anything like Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. You have to have a little bit more time and just to learn about it a little bit more. But I'm slowly learning. I'm taking an online class that's not mandatory, but um, it's been really helping me to use Procreate. I'm so old. I know like people are like, why can't you just like Google it or like YouTube it? Uh, I, I just want to learn things the right way and uh, do things the most efficient way and the case I just buy I bought this case on Amazon the editing systems that I use is Final Cut Pro and I bought it a couple years ago uh, still trying to learn how to use a lot of the functions there's a lot of functions on there I mean it's nowhere near as hard as Adobe Premiere Pro uh, Adobe Premiere I really like it because one I don't have to pay for a yearly subscription and then two it's not extremely hard to use and then also it runs really well with all of my Mac stuff that I have so I really like that that's pretty much it oh yes I also have an external hard drive that I have like two of because I edit all the time and as I said in my daily vlog I like to keep everything everything that I've recorded I'm just like a video hoard hoarder hoarder video hoarder so I like to keep all of my images pictures and stuff like that just to so I can look back in like I don't know 50 years or so like that and so yeah oh shoot my knee okay I just realized it didn't record the very ending so I need to re-record the ending but uh, yeah the thing is just like a little SD card holder and I just like it because I have so many SD cards and throwing them around uh, different bags and stuff like that. I just don't want to lose them. So I have this SD card holder that I think I bought less than for, for less than $5 on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it informative. And if you guys have any other questions of like my camera gears that I have, please ask me down in the comments. And then follow me on my other socials like Instagram. I plan on doing a new thing where I asked you guys to post under a specific hashtag and then I could share it on to my next video or something like that. Please follow me on Instagram for more information about that. I'll probably post something about that in the near future, but I'm still thinking about how I want to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much for it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please do give a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Adios.